Good morning. I would like to thank all of you for inviting me to speak today. On this day, we gather to commemorate a significant moment of the Naha history, the anniversary of the Naga independence plebiscite, a testament to the Naga people's unwavering commitment to self-determination. As a Secretary General of the UNPO, on represented nations and people organization. It is both an honor and a privilege to stand before you on this occasion. 73 years ago, on the 16th of May, 1951, Nagas, all Nagas, young and old, men and women, unitedly exercised their sovereign will and aspiration to determine and secure their own political destiny through the Naga plebiscite. On that day, an overwhelming majority of the people voted for a sovereign Nagaland. Since then, there has been some key milestones in the Naga people's struggle, such as the formation of the Naga National Council and subsequent negotiations with the Indian government. On 16th of May 2004, the 53rd anniversary of Naga independence plebiscite, the Naga People's Movement for Human Rights acknowledged the visionary role of Naga elders and the organizing leadership of the Naga National Council, who laid the foundation of the Naga struggle and delivered the legitimacy on which future generations could aspire for the fulfillment of their long cherished dream to become fully free and independent. Let me remind us today that the right of self-determination is a fundamental right and is also the fundamental pillar of the UNPO. And we remain committed to advocating for the rights of unrepresented nations and peoples worldwide, like all of you, like the Naga people. All of you, the Naga, has been member of the UNPO since 1993. And since then, all UNPO members, and with them myself, we stand together for the respect of the Nagalim people's right of self-determination. The Naga people's struggles exemplifies your commitment and desire for autonomy and freedom, clearly shown during the plebiscite in 1951. This even demonstrates the moral and political consensus of Naga people to determine your own people. Today, as we reflect on the Naga people's journey, we are reminded on your resilience in face of the adversity. The speed of decades of hardship and conflict, you have remained steadfast in the pursuit of justice and equality. As we commemorate the anniversary of the Independence People's Day of Plavisit of Naga people, let me and with me all UNPO members reaffirm our commitment to support the right of all of you to exercise the right of self-determination in a non-violent manner and to be respected for that. Let us join our voice to yours to call open governments and stakeholders to engage in a genuine dialogue and negotiations guided by the principle of inclusivity and mutual respect it is only through such a collective effort that we can pave the way for a future where all of you, all Naga people, can live in peace and prosperity. In closing, let us remember that the struggle for self-determination knows no bounds. It is a journey marked by courage, courage, perseverance and hope. And as we stand in solidarity with all of you, with the Naga people today, let us recommit ourselves 
to the novel cause of justice and equality for all unrepresented nations and peoples. I thank you.